I know you have three chat books. You had Poets uh, Pilgrimage was the first one, and then for Reading Out Loud, and then the last one, Between the Eyes. What were the differences with each one, and what was kind of happening, poetically speaking, between the three chat books? Well, when I did the first one, Poets Pilgrimage, that was the first time I felt like I had a complete body of work, as it were. And I thought, I have these poems that a lot of them don't really agree with each other. They don't sound like they're coming from the same voice because I was in either a different mood or a different mode of thought when I, when I wrote them all. And, um, and I had a couple of things published, and, and someone had read uh, some of the things that were published, and they said, well, this, this one doesn't agree with that one. Which do you really believe? And I figured, <laughs> oh, you know, at different times I believe different things, or I disbelieve different things. But, um, so I thought, well, I really do have different um, points of view for the different poems. So I thought, well, I'll write something that has different, all these uh, characters, and they're all, there's seven different poets in the in the story. And it's, I just kind of try to use it as a platform to put the poetry out there. Um, I don't know to what extent it worked. It, it was probably a little tedious and a little heavy-handed, but you know, that's where my, that's where my work was at the time. And I thought that I had, you know, that's, that was my, pretty much my complete work at the time. That was, uh, I was a youth of 46. <laughs> and, <laughs> This one was for reading out loud, which became my more of my passion about poetry was to read it out loud and, and to do it to do the public uh, poetry reading. This is a book I can read from to do a, a, a poetry reading. And um, then my last one is uh, general theme is that uh, poetry is something that's supposed to well all writing all art is is something that's supposed to pass from uh, the author to uh, the reader as an individual and it, it works on an individual basis that's the idea of between the eyes it's like you're an I and I'm an I and every everyone is uh, that first person to themselves and uh, that was basically the the aspect I was going for in that. I wouldn't be going uh, too far off the limb if I said of the three books you probably like between the eyes the most Yes, that's, that's true, so far. Because you know, it's always the most recent one, isn't it? It is, it is. And, I, and, and I'll like the next one even better if I ever write it. <laughs> <laughs> Any particular venues stand out from the past? Well, from the past, what, what got us started to do um, some of our tandem poetry readings was uh, Joanne Leva's venue at the, at the Barnes & Noble uh, bookstore and when she suggested that we do something together and as soon as she, she suggested that it, it took off you know she, she recognized that we had work that would coincide with each other and uh, she didn't know she created a monster she did a double, <laughs> double headed monster with that uh, the Princeton Improv was, that the was print, yeah the Cafe Improv was a lot of fun doing that with you there and um, uh, also the one that Connie always remembers and always points out is the Steel City uh, reading that we did. Uh, do you remember in Phoenixville? I remember reading at Steel we, City. We did uh, Steel City and we, uh, they had a, a sort of a stage set up yeah. and, and the audience was very receptive and responsive and it just it just felt it, you know it gave you that uh, that feeling that you know you were really up there and, uh, uh, I think there's something about an audience that's at least slightly inebri inebriated that, that kind of <laughs> uh, spurs them on to, to greater heights there was also the, the reading at the um, Painted Bride. Do you remember when uh, we went with Bob Forster to the Painted Bride and there were maybe 200 people? Well, it seemed like 200 people at the time anyway. Um, and, uh, and a lot of poets read, but we were 
uh, among them, and you got you know maybe five minutes to to read, but the audience was raucous and they were cheering and yelling and uh, you know, and I think they were a little bit smashed. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that that can help, but um, of course at the time I thought, well, it's my poetry. <laughs> what was the most unusual reading you've ever done? <laughs> I think the most unusual one was the one at the at the Milk Boy in in, uh, in Ardmore, I think, on oh, yes. Friday, and <laughs> we got invited there, and there were musicians and there were poets, and the musicians at least were able to. Uh, to be heard, but the, the we didn't have too much of a chance because there was a lot of noise in the audience. There were uh, families brought their little their toddlers, and uh, it was there just, were about a hundred two year olds. <laughs> right, there, there were it was a big audience, but nobody was paying attention to it. So <laughs> you know, there's so much to be said for a big audience.